Stacy didn't make it. Did you recover a body? No. The divers went out as long as they could, but no sign of her, given the temperature and... The fact that she just gave birth. The baby's at the hospital. It's a girl. That's good. How's Jess doing? Oh, I know she survived surgery. All right, well, we'll, um, we'll be there soon. Layla called and gave me an update on the Mitch Lawrence situation. Doesn't sound like the feds are going to let him go anytime soon, so we're bringing the kids back home. Dorian call you? <laughs> no. She will. Now the wall's gone. She's going to want you back. Well, I'll keep you posted. Okay. She drowned. Do they want us to tell Shane, or should we wait for Rex and Gigi? Was that my dad on the phone? No. No, I was talking to uh, John McBain. But your folks know that you're on your way home. I can't wait to see you, Shane. Did Maria say she has a baby yet? You and Stacy made a fool. Yes. Your Aunt Stacy had the baby. <laughs> I knew it. So, do I have a baby brother or a baby sister? You know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take Boy. We're gonna go call her. Let you guys catch up. Come on, sweetie. Let's go over here. So, is it a boy or a girl? It's a girl. She was born last night. You don't like girls? What are you kidding? No. Girls are great. So, how come you seem so sad? Well, I've got some bad news for you, Shane. It's not my mom and dad, no, right? No, 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 they're fine. And the baby's okay? The baby's fine, too, as far as I know, but, uh, your Aunt Stacy, um, she had an accident. What do you mean? In the hospital? No, she wasn't in the hospital. Uh, she had the baby somewhere else. And there was a big storm, came in as a blizzard, and I don't have all the details, but she was trying to make it back to the hospital. And she was crossing a uh, frozen lake. The ice was thin, and she fell through the ice and went into the lake. Lake? Are you serious? <laughs> she must have been really mad. Aunt Stacy hates the cold more than anything else. I guess because she grew up in Michigan. You should hear her. What's the use in global warming if I still have to freeze to death every winter? Well, it was cold. And she had just had the baby. So uh, she was pretty worn out. And they weren't able to get her out in time. But she's okay. Stacy drowned. If the baby's not scuff, wait till we show your mommy your pretty nail. I miss her. I know you do, Pumpkin. She misses you too. We'll see her soon. We actually sent Bree down to Texas. Well, she was your aunt, so it's okay for you to let your feelings out. You mean cry? Sure. I can't. Well, I'm not going to tell anybody. It's not that. I don't think I have the right, you know? What do you mean? I hated her. I wanted her to die. Or at least go away. It's her fault my parents broke up. Look, I don't blame you for being mad at her. And I was mad at her, too. You were? Sure. You know, your dad is like a son to me. So I wasn't happy with what she did to all of you. You didn't want her to die. Well, no. No, but e even if I did, it, it wouldn't be my fault. You know, unless I had some kind of magical powers. And you don't have magical powers, do you? No. So, it's not your fault either. But I'm glad you told me about all this. I'm proud of you. Why? Well, before we took off for Texas, you remember? You walked over to your Aunt Stacy. You gave her a hug and you patted the baby. And that, that was a good thing to do. Yeah. I think so, especially after what you just told me. You know, 
know, for you to do something that was that respectful and that that caring, just for your dad's sake, that was a very grown-up thing to do. I didn't want my dad to worry that I wouldn't like the baby. Well, you see, that's what I mean. You did good. I didn't really want her to die. someone like you in my life. I've got Matthew, but now that uh, he's discovered girls. Mm. Huh? How about, mm. you know, I talk to your dad uh, a lot, but... Uh, he's always busy. Well, yeah, now he's got a lot on his plate, but um, if you wouldn't mind, you know, I could call you every now and then, you know, or I could text you. That'd be okay. Thank you. 